You asked, what is the ROI for a home battery? When it comes to batteries, a lot of people now thinking, hang on, I've got a solar system, I generate a lot of electricity in the middle of the day and till the evening, but then I have to pull it still out of the grid. But during the day when I produce it, I only get five cents for it and that's not really worth it. And then at night I have to pay 30, 35, maybe even 40 cents. And so a lot of people are looking at batteries at the moment. So if you're an owner of a solar system looking at batteries, you're not alone. There's 3 million solar systems on roofs. And in terms of batteries, only around 5% of all of them who actually have a battery attached to it. So there's a lot of looking at batteries, but not a lot of taking of batteries. No. I don't want it. At this point in time, the solar rebate is solely applied to solar systems. And so if you buy a 6.6 kilowatt system, which is the average, you will get about two to $3,000 in rebate depending on the area you're in. But if you buy a battery, uh, only in some areas of uh, Australia do you get a bit of a rebate or you might get an interest-free loan, but you do not get as generously support for batteries as you get for solar. So I'll explain. If we have a solar system and let's say the price would be an $8,000 system, that's a good quality system, before rebate, you'll get $2,500 in the rebate added to it. So that means the system is $5,500. So from that perspective, you're looking at around 30% of the system price you got added to in the rebate. But with a battery, let's say make it a $10,000 battery, or even a $12,000 and $15,000 battery, there's not a $5,000 support coming, meaning 30% towards the battery. So batteries currently in the current rebate regime are disadvantaged. Now, is it really worth buying a battery without the rebate? Let me give you the numbers. Um, The sample I use is a seven kilowatt system in Sydney. You would maybe generate 10,000 kilowatt hours per year with that system. And now let's say half of it we use in the house ourselves, and half of it we export. That means the exported electricity of 5,000 kilowatt hours at five cents will give me $250 in my pocket. But if I don't export that, and I can keep that in a battery, and then use it in my own house, that's 5,000 kilowatt hours at 30 cents, and that would give me $1,250 now in my pocket additionally. So I think, oh, gee, $1,250 additional income per year because of the battery, uh, maybe that's worth it. The problem is that you're not really getting $1,250 because let's say there is a time that your battery is full and your solar system is still generating. And that point in time, you can't put it in the battery anymore, so you're still exporting. So a certain percentage of your 5,000 kilowatt hours, you can't stick into your battery. Your battery is not infinite. It will fill up and you're making still electricity and you have to export it. So I would say, conservatively, we're looking maybe between $800 and $1,000 per year as a benefit out of that battery. But if that battery, and I take a Tesla or a LG Chem, if I now have to install that fully, I can, depending on the area and the size of battery, look between 10, 12, and even $15,000. If I make $1,000 per year additionally, but the battery costs me 12 to 15, and I'm only confident that the battery will last maybe 10, 11, 12 years, in my best case scenario, I'm just back in the money. The issue, in my opinion, is that the rebate that is applied to solar systems at this point in time is not fit for purpose anymore. It was the right rebate uh, when we had um, 2006, 2007, John Howard offering $8,000 for a solar system rebate uh, and we started the industry off. But right now, those systems have come down by as much as 80 to 90% in cost for panels, a bit less for inverters. And from that perspective, we don't need the solar rebate anymore but we need a rebate for solar and batteries. So we need to encourage more people to buy solar and batteries as a combo because that's where our issue is. We don't have a problem with creating energy in Australia. We have a problem with creating energy at the right time of the day. So more battery storage is needed and I'm encouraging the federal government to look at the rebate regime 
and skew it in a way that people can purchase a solar and battery system in a way that it will give them a better return on investment uh, than just what's given at the moment with the battery alone. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators, and find your quality local installers. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.